Hey everybody, so this is the full version of the smoke blast or shockwave. I just wanted to show you what it looks like with some sound effects and how you could possibly use this for something like a product promo or a trailer. Um, by the way, this wallpaper is something that I made in Phoenix as well. And it looks like this. So if you would like to learn how to make this liquid follow path, uh, you can watch the video on my channel, this one liquid path follow. And also, as always, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Jesse, and I've been making a lot of tutorials which you can check out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the tutorials lately. So let's watch this one more time. This is a super simple setup, definitely great for beginners. If you've never done anything in Phoenix, you can definitely do this in a few minutes with me. So let's just jump straight into Max. So this is my starter scene here. You can create something similar for yourself. So I know that you guys are used to me working in unit centimeters. One unit is one centimeter, but for some reason I forgot to check and Max switched me back into inches. So this tutorial is in metric centimeters and one unit is one inch. But even if you're in centimeters, it won't make that much of a difference. So I just have this phone here and then I made a camera. So my camera view looks like this. And then I can turn on show safe frames. And if you like to make sure that your object is centered, you can go under configure the safe frames and then just click on this 12 field grid and click on four by three and you get this little grid so you can see where the middle of your screen will be. And now we can go under particle systems, PF source and create a regular PF source like this, make the icon a circle and then click on the particle view and emit for just one frame. And we want to emit about 1200 particles. And then for the speed, let's do icon arrow out like this. And then for the speed, let's do 400 with 200 variation and then we can delete shape and just add a delete operator down here and set the particle H to lifespan for with one frame variation and move it roughly behind your object and then let's create our Phoenix fire and smoke sim grid so make this pretty wide just because the camera view is pretty wide and you want to make sure that you fill the entire camera view. So you can go under grid and just maybe shrink this a little bit like this and like that. And we don't need it to be so high either. So something like this looks good. And then we want to make sure that the smoke will hit the ground and instead of getting deleted here, so you can set Z minus as jam, which means that the bottom of the grid will act as a floor and the rest of it can remain open. And then for my final resolution at about 1.6 centimeter cell size, so about 20 million total cells. And then under dynamics, you can leave everything as a default. You can raise the quality to 50, which will just give you some nicer smoke swirls and it will make the smoke last longer before dissipating and you can set steps per frame to two just because the particles are moving pretty fast and then under output we need to output rgb and velocity if we would like motion blur and then select where you want to save the simulation here so then we need to go under helpers phoenix and create a phx source and add the particle flow particles as your source Let's set the outgoing velocity to 50, temperature to 300, and let's check RGB as on, and let's check motion velocity as on, and set it to 10. So motion velocity is what will give smoke speed based on the speed of the particles. So the other thing we want to do is plug a texture map into the RGB slot to give the smoke two or more colors if you would like. So under material editor, we can just um, create a, a new map here and make it a noise. 
and set it to fractal and then you can just see the preview here and let's make one color that green and the other color that yellow like this and then we need to move these two numbers closer together so lower the high and increase the low so you get more contrast like this and you can set the size to 50 so you can set the size as a much smaller number if you would like and then you're probably gonna get each one of these puffs to be a different combination of you know yellow or green i only basically have one half being yellow and one half being green just because i set the size of the noise to be so high and so then you would just take this map and say copy and you can go under this rgb map slot here and set paste instance so now with everything being set up you would just go under simulation and hit start I'm gonna switch to my final scene here to show you guys my light setup. So I just have these two V-Ray lights. And then one more important step is go under rendering and volumetric options. And for the smoke color, you want to select based on RGB. It's set to constant by default. And then you can play with the smoke opacity here if you would like it to be a little thicker or thinner depending on the kind of effect that you're looking for. And then basically this was my camera view and after i rendered it out i just added some curves and some saturation in after effects and this was what i ended up with so super simple tutorial today if you're new to phoenix definitely give it a shot i would love to see your results as always thank you very much for watching i hope that you guys found this one helpful be sure to subscribe because i'll be posting a lot more and i'll talk to you later